Hello from Universal City Walk. So we are here because today is St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> yeah. So what we're doing is we're going over to uh, Pat O'Brien's mm -hmm. to maybe just sort of see what it looks like right now. It's about five o'clock, and then we're heading into Universal to enjoy Mardi Gras. Oh. Oh. The last of our Mardi Gras. Well, not the last, but we're going to get into this gift card. We'll try to redeem the rest of that yeah. because we don't know how many more times we're coming to Mardi Gras. But yeah, so that's the plan. And then we might ever go, uh, we might go to Finnegan's too over Universal. It's a little Irish celebration, you know, and then also a little celebration of Mardi Gras. I'd like to call it uh, the best of both of my cultures. Why is that? Because I'm Irish and I'm Cajun. Woo! <laughs> okay. So we're walking past the Red Coconut Club right now and heading towards Pat O'Brien's, which is right over here. So there's some windows outside that you can order at, or we can go inside. There's some performers over there on stilts. And the stage over here. There's a bar right there. And there's a dual piano bar right inside. And there's an outdoor seating area right there in the back. So we decided to get a couple drinks inside the bar. Brennan got the hurricane there, I'm pretty sure, right? This was a bad idea. And then I got the mint julep. <laughs> I don't know. Look at that size difference. I wanted that size. Okay, so we're back outside and we might get over to the piano bar to maybe drink our drinks in here. This is pretty cool. These decorations in here. This is the patio bar outside, which is right back over here. We were just right inside the window, way over there. There's some fountains, and there's even some gold on the ground. This is some cool ambiance out here. Okay, so we're heading down the steps towards Universal. We have some gold coins here, because of course it's St. Patrick's Day. Brennan's carrying both of the drinks. And uh, there's some decorations over here as well. This has been fun so far. Cool, right? Yeah. And that's only gonna get that's even funny. busier, probably, as the night continues, because again, today, is St. Patrick's Day, but I guess it's kind of a St. Patrick's celebration weekend. So there's some food booths in City Walk that I think we might want to start at because we realized that they were here last time that we came, and uh, let's see what they have. So this had the <laughs> grilled octopus with rice and then the crepe Suzette. Were either of those interesting to you at all? Uh, I think I want the shrimp and crepes. Okay, I think I might do the octopus. So we are sitting behind Fat Tuesday, and this is what Brennan got. She got the shrimp and grits. Uh, which Big is, surprise. I guess it's the shrimp and smoked cheddar cheese rice grits. Um, this is sauteed shrimp, tasso ham and trinity in a pan sauce over smoked cheddar cheese rice grits. That sounds delightful. And then I got this. This is, of course, the grilled octopus with rice, which is marinated grilled octopus with tomato, oregano, and lemon herb rice. I'm a little bit nervous about that, but it looks fun. And we finally got to have something from the booths over here. Just because I'm curious about this octopus. Should I just have it by itself? Yeah. Okay. Let's see what it tastes like on you its ready? own. You ready? Hmm. <laughs> and? It is very tough. Okay. Very like blackened and burnt tasting. Very rubbery. Not a lot of taste. But it is octopus. But it's, it's not, my review. But it's not gross. No. No, okay. It's very tough. And now Brennan's gonna have some grits. <laughs> I can't imagine my review is gonna be as polarizing as yours, but... Polarizing? <laughs> yours was very, uh, hmm. Let's see how mine is. That was the best food review that I've ever given. Ooh, that's hot. Ooh. That's a good reaction. That's an Emmy reaction right there. It's good. Okay. But the sauce tastes just like pizza sauce for whatever reason. It's probably the same sauce that I have here, this uh, marinara. Huh. I've never had shrimp and grits where the sauce just tastes like pizza sauce. Sweet, so over by the water. They also have a yakumane 
bowl here, and then this is what Brennan got here, the shrimp and smoked cheddar cheese rice grits. So this is a St. Patrick's Day sign in the middle of City Walk, which is pretty cool. There's free admission to Pat O'Brien's, and then it's today as well as tomorrow. Okay, so we're about to head to Universal in just a minute. We do have to finish our drinks because Universal and City Walk have separate liquor licenses, so we can't bring this into Universal with us. These were definitely very moderately sized portion beverages. So that's good. <laughs> we got our money's worth, I think. We still have about a month to enjoy Mardi Gras. We might make one more trip before it concludes. We're not totally sure. We're going to treat today as if it's our final opportunity to come to Mardi Gras, but we'll see. We can do another trip. Okay, so we just made it into Universal and we are now heading down the streets. I think we're heading uh, down Hollywood Boulevard because we went towards New York last time. Really quickly though, we wanted to come over to Despicable Me. Over here, just the area, because they've had some significant progress here on the uh, new building con construction. Is it significant? Probably not. But they're working on it, and it's going to be open at some point, probably this year. They're like villain con banners and some little lights over there in the queue, what used to be the extended queue for Shrek. So over there is the tribute store, which we did go in. We'll probably go in again at some point, I'd like to presume. So there is a food booth right over here, but Brennan wants to stop at this booth, I think, over here. So they have a Baja Shrimp Ceviche Tostada, Tacos al Pastor, Elores, and a vegan churros option. We actually might be okay. Brennan just wanted to stop at the first booth that we saw just to see what they had. That is tempting though, that does sound pretty good. So we're taking a picture in front of this massive face. What I did, I took a picture. <laughs> you were taking a picture. I was, but it's like a video, you know? <laughs> oh no, get out of there. That's so invasive. There's the Mexico booth right there, and we are heading in this direction. So we'll see what they have at Brazil over here. That was Mexico back there. And I really wanted to go up here, but I think that the final show is concluded for the day for Animal Actors. So I will not be able to see an aerial view of the construction of Kid Zone, which stinks, but the, uh, the coaster is still intact over there. So here they have Pacaja Skewers. They have Brigadieros Trio. They have uh, Linguac. Skewers, and then they have chicken cojina. I probably didn't pronounce any of that right. This is pretty tempting right here. Really? All right, so we got our food, and then also the parade float riding virtual line passes dropped. But if I try to get a time, it says there are no times available, which is unfortunate because it says that virtual line passes are first come, first serve, with limited availability, and will be available from one hour prior to parade start, which is in one hour from now. Um, so this is what Brenna got right here. So Pretty let's good. see, what is this? I pulled up the, the <laughs> menu on my sausage phone. skewer. Yeah, so this is beef sirloin. No, it's not. This is beef sirloin, capped with uh, uh, chimichurri, smoked salt, and powder quejo. And then this is what Brenna got. This is the uh, grilled Brazilian sausage with powder quejo. I'm gonna so. dip my cheese bread in your chimichurri. <laughs> okay, very, very tiny little portions here, it looks like. Sort of a bummer that we couldn't get a virtual time. Pass. One may pop up here if I keep trying, but probably not. I forgot to film Brennan eating her sausage, so she's gonna eat her little cheese bread now. I'm gonna dip it in your chimichurri though. How dare you? The sausage was really good. I also found this uh, ET passport here on the table. Mm. Is it good? Mm -hmm. You took my chimichurri. Okay, I'm gonna have mine. Mm. And a little cheese bread. That is good. So this is Trinidad and Tobago that we're looking at over here. Right now they have Falori, crab and dumplings, chickpea doubles. Wow. That is something. So I decided to go and get something from Trinidad and Tobago. This is the crab and dumplings, which is probably the grossest food item I think I've ever gotten <laughs> visually at an event. This is Columbia over here, which we need to check out the menu here. So that is the Columbia booth way back in the back by the kids' own walls, and this is where you can redeem your spot for the Mardi Gras parade, which it looks like they are out of spots for. At this time, all the spots have been placed. Okay, but back over here they have Colombian bananas and then Arepas de Queso. So we're going to try to find a spot over the water here in Kid Zone, not Kid Zone, <laughs> in the Simpsons area, so I can enjoy my crab concoction. So this is the curried soft shell crab stew with roti. I'm, I'm a little bit nervous about this one, I'm gonna be honest. Are you a curry fan? Um, yes and no, I don't know. I like crab. I'm the type of person that like when I see like an item on the menu that I know that I like, I just go for it no matter what. Mm -hmm. That burns me sometimes a lot when it comes to seafood in particular. Like the scallops that they serve like at SeaWorld or at Epcot. 
Um, All right. Well, let's see. Let's see how you feel about this. Oh God. So soft shell, I should just be able just to eat it, right? I don't know. <laughs> oh man. Oh no. oh no! I hate it! So it was better with the bread, but that was definitely my least favorite food item I think I've ever gotten at Mardi Gras. It tasted alright. I don't know, just something about it was weird. So we're back at our main path here, heading around the lagoon. It is so nice that it stays lighter later now. There's still construction walls over here by the Simpsons ride. This is sort of a congestion point. So now we're crossing the bridge over towards Potter. And there's a booth right there that we might go to. So this is Germany. They have a chicken schnitzel with that. And they, okay, that's, that's, yeah. And then they have potato pancakes. That looks pretty good. I mean the potato pancakes. So Brennan's getting some food back over there. This is Denmark. They have a broad pulse, and then they have a frikadelle or meatballs with Danish gravy. And both of those sound pretty good. It's interesting they're closed right now. So I was going to go meet back up with Brennan, but Brennan's right here. Because I guess all of the booths are closed? Mm -hmm. Which is interesting because the park's closed in two hours. Yeah. So we came around the corner, but I missed that booth, so I'm going to run over to see what that booth has, even though it's probably closed, apparently. So that was Germany, which was closed, and this is Belgium, which again is also closed because their computers are covered up, but they have uh, berries and cream waffles, they have waffle s'mores, and then Brussels frites. Which sounds good. Oh man, that stinks. Okay, guess we're gonna have to come back again. We're passing through Potter. Right now the weather is definitely starting to feel really nice, which is good because it was pretty hot earlier today. So this is Indonesia, which is also closed, but they have a Polynesian chili crab uh, with fried mantu. They have Berber katan hatam and then nasi gorging. And the next to Indonesia is India, where they have a gulab jamun with uh, rose water syrup. That's pretty interesting. They also have a pav bahaj and then an onion bahaj. There's another booth right over here, so we'll see if they're open. Maybe the drink booths are open instead of the food booths. So Cinematic Celebration has officially closed. It is officially, permanently concluded, which is sad. We've seen it a multitude of times, so that was good. But that just sort of came out of nowhere. But I hope they replace it soon with something. So this is Spain, and it is actually open right now, so I guess it's just contingent on the booth. They have a paella mixto, uh, and then they have a Spanish um, bocadillo, and then a leche frita, and I think Brennan just ran to get in line. So that was the booth that we just went to, and Brennan decided to get the Spanish bocadillo, which is serrano ham and drunken goat cheese with parsley sauce on a gently pressed baguette. <laughs> Does it taste like a goat cheese sandwich? Yeah? It's pretty good. Okay. It's a little bland. Uh oh. I already revealed what I got. So I got the Sangria Flight because why not? This is the uh, Sangria Tinto, Sangria Blanco, and Sangria Rosado. And I just decided why not? When am I ever gonna want to have these again? It just it feels so good right now. Like this is the time to probably Ugh. indulge in alcohol. Oh, they're Second doing the parade. Bite. Second bite is better. Okay, so I'm just gonna go and try them all really quickly. I don't know which one's which. That one is very sweet. That one's very smooth. That one's pretty tart, that one. It sort of just tastes like a standard sangria that we get. That one is like super tart. But I don't know which one's more tart. This one's definitely not as tart. Which one's the favorite? I think this one. So I'm still working on all of my sangrias, but we have to cross the street before the parade catches up to us because it just stepped off way over there by Mel's behind us. We sat right over here by Richter's and I don't know if we're going to encounter any other booths that are open. I would presume that they would have all been closed because every one of them has been, but this one was open. So the plan right now is to try to cross the streets before the parade, which we should be able to do, and head over to Finnegan's, which this is probably our best chance to do that. Of course, being St. Patrick's Day, Finnegan's is going to be probably pretty busy, but hopefully right now during the parade it'll be the least busy. That booth back there was open, so that is a pretty good indicated that maybe some of the booths are going to be open right now. All right, we've made it to Finnegan's. Let's see if we can just head up to the bar, maybe. Yeah, it's not busy at all right now. Well, it's, it's busy, but we'll find a spot, hopefully. So we got a couple beers. This is the High Stepper from the Crooked Can, which is in downtown Winter Garden, right? Yes, and I love Crooked Can. And we got it green yeah, for St. Patrick's Day. 
This is a this is an IPA, which we're normally not a big fan of collectively. No. <laughs> but you know what? We're gonna suffer through it like adults. Oh. There's the Mardi Gras parade right outside. I think that is the first float in the parade. I'm pretty positive. This is pretty incredible. There's virtually nobody at the bar right now, and it's St. Patrick's Day, which is just bizarre, right? Hey, I told you it was a parade. Like this is why no one's here. So what do you have here, Brennan? We have. Pickle bags. What is that? Jameson whiskey and pickle juice. Yeah. Are we supposed to take this and then chase it with that or vice versa? Yeah, you take the Jameson and then you chase it with the pickle. Alright, are you ready? You ready? Alrighty. That is a weird chase. And there's the Gator Club, the very final club in the parade. We're still working on our beers, ever so slowly, IPAs are just sort of challenging beers for us to indulge in, which probably makes a lot of people upset. Water. Yeah, then we got some water too. That's the end of the parade. Wow, that was the best parade we've ever seen. So this is actually a booth that we missed last time. This is Puerto Rico, which is right here on, I don't know the name of the street, but this is in New York. So they have Alcaparillas, they have Mofongo Trio, and then a vegan Alcaparillas. And it's open, so that's good. It actually looks really good. Oh man. So we are at a table right now. The parade just sort of made it down the streets, and I'm trying to contemplate whether or not I should get something from the Puerto Rico booth, which is right behind us. It would be pretty good. The Mofongo Trio looks good. All right, so we decided to not get anything at Puerto Rico, but we are going to ride the mummy Brendan has not ridden the mummy since it reopened. So we were going to ride the mummy, but it says it's a 995 minute wait. That's a fault. That is not accurate. So we might get a rocket. Right now the app says it's a 25 minute wait, but the fact that the sign says 995 minutes. So what I think we're going to do is head over to Rip Ride Rocket just to see what that wait time is. We might do single rider for it. Booths over here are still closed as well. This is over by Gramercy Park, which these would have been really nice to get a little dessert at before heading over to Rip Ride Rockets. So we are going to see what the single rider wait time is for this. Hopefully it's not too long. We've not done this together in a while. I cannot even remember the last time that I did this with Brennan. I've done this for like Universal Challenges before, so this is really exciting. So we got in line for Rip Ride Rocket, but it closed due to inclement weather, which is sort of sad. We were actually given these tickets, here are these express tickets, to ride Rip Ride Rocket, but we could not do it because of the weather. So the park is closed now, there's some construction walls over here by what used to be the Monsters Cafe, which is going to be the Minions Cafe, probably at some point we are heading out of the park. It's sort of sad that we were not able to use these, we were just putting our stuff in a locker, and somebody came up to us and said, hey, do you want to ride Rip Ride Rocket with Express Passes? And we were like, okay. Um, but it shut down, obviously, due to the weather. So I think we're heading to City Walk right now just to sort of hang out a little bit until we feel confident enough to drive home, probably. So I really do hope that we make one more trip to Universal for Mardi Gras before it concludes in about a month because I did not know that those booths were going to close as early as they did. That was I sort of know lame. I were supposed to close that early, but... Mm. They did. Yeah, we'll see. They yeah. did. I don't know if it was like a, I don't know, a team member thing or just an hours or a crowd control sort of a thing. So the crowds are pretty intense heading out of the park, so we decided to go to the Cursed Coconut Club to wait out the crowds. So we are sitting in the corner right now and just sort of enjoying the ambiance of the Dead Coconut Club, waiting for the, uh, the, the park exit to sort of clear up a little bit, which might not happen. We're just sort of enjoying our time here in the deck of the club before it goes away. Okay, so we're heading back to the parking garage right now. This was fun. We just wanted to stop in and just sort of relax a little bit. I doubt that that really changed or impacted the current levels leaving the park right now, but we just wanted to pop in because why not? We parked in ET today, so we're heading towards ET. That is what I would call the Boy B Garage, and this is the other garage. So we are back at the parking lot, heading back to the car. That was our trip to Universal for Mardi Gras and also St. Patrick's Day, which was a lot of fun, and I'm glad that Brennan suggested going to uh, Pat O'Brien's just to sort of experience that, and then going to uh, Finnegan's during the parade, which ended up being like a very smart idea. Um, we had a good time, and we got to sort of watch the parade from inside Finnegan's, 
and we did not really ride any rides at all, but we got to just sort of walk around Universal, go to some booths that we did not go to the first time that we came to Universal. And then it closed early today, just the event in general, so I hope that we come back one more time just to go to the booths that we did not get to go to today. But as far as our St. Patrick's Day trip to Universal, thank you for hanging out with us. We will see you soon. Have a great day. Thanks for watching, and goodbye. Bye.